Mike, the subbing, the sassy little hog champ. Let's go gamers.
Yo, 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 what's up, folks? Just in time, aren't I? I cut this really close. Uh, I was trying to fix my sleep pattern last night. <laughs> Turns out I just slept for 13 and a half hours, so I didn't fix it. I just fucked it up. Um, to be fair, better than it was, though. Better than it was. Um, yo, what's up, folks? How we doing? God, I really need to get a haircut. I think I'm going to go get one tomorrow. Um, I was holding off on it because I need to record the... Um, the outro for the Doctor Who video. This is very loud in my ears. Hold on. Um, yeah, I need to record the outro for the Doctor Who video. And um, I don't want my hair to have like, overgrown. So I was like, I'm just going to hold off until I'm like very close to the end of the Doctor Who video. Then I'm going to get my hair cut. So, end it up. Quite long here. Blue lights, because it's PlayStation Gaming. Uh, thank you very much, Mac, for the uh, thank you for 31 months. Sassy thank you, Pedro, for the 42 months. Chip. Oh, no. You're ugly anyway. Don't cut it. Well, thanks for that. I also cut my lip up as well. Um, I don't know if you could tell. You probably can tell. Don't know how that happened. I don't know, man. Maybe I bit my lip in my sleep. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's throw this over here so I can get my chat on a separate thing. Out. Oh, is this Final Fantasy music? Holy shit. It's very quiet, though. Oh. Final Fantasy. the same type of videos I did when the PS5 came out originally. You know, I did a lot more, oh, I'm covering every sort of game that's coming out, and I have something to say on everything. I'm also doing a podcast based on all this stuff, and, like, I did a lot more, like, current event stuff back then, I think, in 2020. And so it made sense to have the newest up-to-date consoles, because that's just what I did. I also did an unboxing for both of them, too. Like, I couldn't imagine doing that now. That's just not what I do. Um, so, I don't know whether I'll actually get, I'll, I'll probably only get the PS5 Pro if I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, but I actually don't know. Like, I actually don't know because I don't need to. I always used to be like, oh, I need the newest console. I've got to make sure I've got everything up to date. But, but you know. Oh, Final Fantasy IX. God, could you imagine if they announced Final Fantasy IX Remake here? I think that then I would get a PS5 Pro. So I have a PS5. Oh god. Well, you're not missing out because there's nothing on it. 
Like, it's not... To be honest, when you think about it, like, there was... A, like, I think that's the big thing. Is like, if you didn't have a PS4, you were missing out. Because there's so many games. Like, by this point into the PS4's life cycle, you know, you had... Spider-Man was just about to come out. You had God of War. You had... Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, Uncharted 4. Um... Bloodborne, Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah, I'm trying to, like, remember. I'm trying to Lost Legacy as well. Oh my god, yeah, they had so many games that was, like, you had to be on PS4. There were so many games. It was, yeah, even stuff like Infamous Second Son, yeah, which wasn't, like, a, you know, an industry, you know, shake-up type of game. But it was just another one they had that is also, like, solid. Um, and they also did the, yeah, the remasters for Uncharted 1 to 3 as well, that's true. And The Last of Us remastered as well. Um, Kingdom Hearts as well, they brought the Kingdom Hearts, like, collections as well on PS4. Um, so, like, it was just, it was like the console you had to have by, you know, it would have been, what? toward the end of 2017 wait hang on four years later wait where are we it was three and a half years so oh so it would have been mid 2016 so to be fair yeah horizon zero dawn hadn't come out yet neither had um spider-man or god of war but they were coming out Here we go! Hi, I'm Mark Cerny. I'm excited to be here to talk about the newest addition to our console lineup, PlayStation 5 Pro, and oh, how it advances right gaming technology. But first, I want to take just a minute to look at what we put in the original PlayStation 5 and how it delivers an exceptional gaming experience. Yeah, they're really just jumping when straight PS5 in. When PS5 debuted in 2020, it brought a lot to the table. 8 Zen 2 CPU cores form the brains of PlayStation 5. And oh yeah, it will be mid-2017. Yeah, true, I was right the first time. With character counts reaching into the hundreds... ...and frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. PS5 has a powerful RDNA 2 GPU, which can render anything from intricate details to fantastic worlds with vast panoramas to explore. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual improvements, including reflections off of water or glass, and the realism that comes from real-time global illumination. A custom SSD can load data at breathtaking speed, resulting in ultra-fast transitions between game worlds, and data streaming rates so high that traversal speeds are essentially unlimited. You okay? I'm working on it! Tempest 3D Audio Tech brings an unparalleled sense of immersion to the sound of the games. With audio so real, you may not even need to see the enemies to know exactly where they are. Finally, the DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through your hands what your character is experiencing inside of the game. They gotta do all this it's because the to upgrades see won't be obvious. And richness of game experiences. <laughs> Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. The dreams of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with, graphics modes. It can be a difficult you, choice for players. Fidelity modes what emphasize the visuals, so typically hey, through higher on. resolution Nothing. rendering. They're just recapping the PS5 These so modes far. might also have enhanced detail or use more ray tracing. But the games only run at 30 frames per second. The visuals can be choppier and the controls less responsive. So is that what we're focusing on for PS5 Pro? frame rate and interactivity, typically choosing to run at 60 frames per second. mainly by reducing the graphical detail until those frame rates can be achieved. Hey, cheers, Kermi. When um, asked to decide on the mode, players are choosing performance about three quarters of the time. Removing that decision, or at least narrowing that divide, is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. 
We want to give players the graphics that the game creators aspire to at the high frame rates that players typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in three ways. Here's what we call the big three. First, we made the GPU much larger and increased Big the speed GPU. of the memory it uses. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. Second, we made major upgrades to the ray tracing, taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, or PSSR like Halo. for short. PSSR analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can add an extraordinary amount of detail, which boosts the effective resolution of the games. Game creators are adding PS5 <clears throat> Pro support to new and existing titles, and with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing, with graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but at double the frame rate. Here's the last so they're just doing like running on PS5 DLSS. Pro. It has huge FSR amounts of detail thing, and but... targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5, which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much choppier. This goal of delivering I mean, I've always fidelity liked DLSS. graphics performance frame rate has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We can see that PS5 Pro is close to doubling the power of PlayStation 5. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. What we see here is yeah, a true. That is because DLSS is good. PS5 I mean, this could Pro still be good. You don't know. And crisper than PS5. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and procedural cars. And so far, looks good. So overall, some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased Not worth buying a whole new console, though. ...or smoother and more responsive gameplay. This is the big three showing their value. As I feel like this capability seeing, should have been in the PS5, to be honest. Machine learning via the PSSR library is being used quite broadly to add pixel detail and boost frame rate. But there are as many approaches as there are game engines. The increase in raw GPU power is being especially effective for Horizon Forbidden West. Apart from the detail boost, that extra graphics power is allowing for improvements to lighting game, and visual effects, as well as to the hair and the skin in cinematics. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. Ray tracing is finding broad usage as well, particularly when the games are focused on higher frame rates. The faster hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference allowing Gran Turismo 7 to add ray-traced reflections between the cars in gameplay, while continuing to support their targeted 60 frames per second. That boost in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy, allowing not only for better reflections and a greater variety of reflective surfaces, but also for further realism in the casting of shadows. I hope like you've enjoyed this run of the technology behind PlayStation But it's not worth buying. Simply put, it's the most powerful console we've ever built, and a worthy addition to the PS5 family. Let me wrap this up by giving you a quick look at a number of games running on the new console. Do we get to see it? What it looks like? Oh. Oh my god, it's got epic racing stripes. Oh shit, that, wait, that was leaked, wasn't it? I thought that was just like fake, like, fan art. Wait, 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 they just dropped, they just dropped the ending. Classic, classic. This is crazy though, this is it, like... 
it's just it's basically just upscaling and slightly enhanced ray tracing. So I guess like yeah, most games are going to be able to hit 60 FPS, but it just feels like minuscule improvements over the PS5. Just really not worth it. I think that's the big thing. Is it, it's not not cool, but there's no way it's going to be worth it. You know, I think that's the that's probably the biggest issue. Because it's still cool. Like if I could get this for free, it would be like, oh, awesome! Oh, <laughs> get fucked! Get absolutely fucked! No fucking chance! Holy shit! <laughs> there is no fucking way! There is no way! <laughs> what the fuck sort of price do you call that? Holy shit! Hang on. What in the fuck are we talking about? Oh my god. That's crazy. No, there is no way. I'm definitely not getting one. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm actually not. That's, that's obscene. That's wild. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Holy shit, why is the dollar price the same as the pounds price? Why is it exactly the same? Why is the euro price higher than both? <laughs> what is- what the fuck? 800 fucking euros? Holy shit. Oh yeah, there's no disk drive. Yeah. There's no disk tray. They've gone fully digital with this. You can only get a digital... PS5 Pro. Holy shit, man. That's crazy. Jesus. What was the PS5 at launch? I don't know. I don't think it was... It definitely wasn't that much. PS5 price at launch. Uh, $499. Um... Oh no, base slash digital. Yeah, four hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, four hundred forty nine pounds. Yeah, four hundred fifty pounds. That's insane. It's almost like it's it's cl like well, it's not close to double the price, but like, holy shit. That's crazy. Yeah, two hundred dollars more. Four years after launch, and no disc tray. And all it basically does is like, oh yeah, we've we've added fucking DLSS basically, like a Sony's own version of DLSS, so you can now AI upscale your games. Cool, sweet man, awesome. Holy shit, that is not, that's obscene. Wow, vertical stand sold separately. Wow. Wait, what? What do you mean vertical stand sold separately? The original PS5 can do, just do both on the same stand. What the fuck are you talking about? What is this bullshit? What the fuck is this? What were they thinking? Did they, like, they just, they really just don't care. That's crazy. Holy fuck. It'd be based on FSR since PS5 uses AMD. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they are very, yeah, they are going very in the Apple direction. But I think the thing is, with PlayStation, that could have worked in the PS4 era. And, it, like, it did. I mean, they, they felt very Apple-esque then, too. They always sort of have. But they, do, like, why should anyone buy this? Like, for what reason? Like, I think one of the big things about Apple products, especially the iPhone, is... Like, I've said this, I've said this for fucking years, is that part of it is that it's an accessory. It's like getting an expensive watch, or expensive sunglasses, or clothes, or a handbag. Like, you have it with you everywhere. It's like, you know, it's, in a lot of ways, it's like a designer thing. But why would you do that with a console that just sits in your house? It's not something you take everywhere with you. It's not something that can be, like, you know, equated to fashion. It's, it's just a thing you have in your home. It's not even like a car, like an expensive car. That you drive around with it's like you know and and th those are things you can obviously be critical of as well but at least like there's the justification of like oh you can see it that way that makes sense but with this like i can't even make that argument or comparison because like what are we doing 
Like, what are we actually doing? Especially when you can just get a PC and you're you're sorted. You know, like that money, you could you could you could definitely get a PC that could get you some somewhere close. I would think, right? Or at least like start you off anyway. And if I feel like it'd be a way more worthwhile investment too, especially given PlayStation doesn't seem to have any worthwhile exclusives currently, and they all come to PC now anyway. Oh, what a what a wild what a wild time to be into video games. What the hell is going on? Like, what is actually going on? Oh my god. And there's no way, like, that's the thing. Like, if this is what part of me thinks, and this might be, like, cr a crazy piece of, like, conspiracy theory here, but part of me thinks they've raised the price so much to almost price Microsoft out of ever making another console. Because Sony, yeah, this is expensive, but maybe can get away with it. But there is no way Xbox is selling an Xbox for $700. There's just, there's no reality where that's happening. Like, you know, they barely got away with it with the, with the previous Xbox. But these days, like, no, no one's buying an Xbox for that much money. And, like, even a PlayStation is like, that's crazy money. So maybe they've done it to be like, well, Xbox isn't definitely isn't competing with us. They're, they're going to be gone. Like, they're not making another Xbox now. Because there's no way. So, like, Nintendo are always going to be in their separate you know, space where they're doing something else. They're never going to compete with this particular market. The only competitor that they have is PC, which they're putting their games on now anyway, so it's not even like a competitor. And Xbox, that's a direct competitor. So maybe that is what they're doing. Maybe they're raising the price to price Xbox out of the console market. Who knows? <clears throat> Who knows? Um, I missed your Rebirth Breath. Would you mind giving you a grade on it? Like... If I had to rate out of 10. Well, I did do that, actually, on Backlogged. I can't remember what I gave it. Half a star, maybe. No disk drive, so... Like, does it... How does that work if you have a bunch of physical games? Can you just not play them? Like, if you've just got all of your games physical, can you just not play them on it? Do you have to buy them again? Or, like, will... Uh, is there a way of, like, validating them to get a digital version of it or something? Um... If Xbox puts out a $450 console, they might sell a lot more. Yeah, but that's the thing with that is they won't, like... Because they've got to compete with PlayStation on a technical level, and that's expensive to do. Consoles already don't generally make a profit until, like, they've been out for enough time and you have enough games on them. That's, like, the general thing, right? And so if, you're, if Xbox has to compete with PlayStation on a technical level... They can't sell it for less because their console either won't be powerful enough or they'll take such a loss, which they're already doing, that, you know, they're, um, they're going to be fucked, you know? But I think we already knew that. I think we already knew Xbox wasn't going to make another console, probably. But now it's probably, like, a certainty. I don't know. The disk drive is $80? Is that a thing they've released? That's crazy. What's going on? PlayStation, what are you doing? Oh my god. And like games are going to start costing like like $100, you know, soon enough. You know, you wait until Rockstar releases GTA 6. What are the odds that they release that for like, you know, close to $100? I promise the PS5 Pro with my last AC game. Rolf, I can't believe I'm spending $700 on this. This is going to be so bad. <laughs> Guys, I promise this will be my last AC game. I can't believe I'm buying this, lol. Oh my god, I just 100% it on you guys. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> um... Oh my god. Yeah, true. They do already cost a lot of money. And some of them, like, you, you know, they kind of, like, hide that standard edition sometimes, where it's like, oh, you can get the standard edition for, like, 60 quid, but the one that they're all advertising is, like, 80. This is crazy. I never watched the Black Flag video too many times with piracy. It's looking appealing. <laughs> I love a good bit of piracy. On the high seas, that is. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Yeah, this, this makes it difficult, like... It's so difficult, man, being a fan, like, of video games in general sometimes. Because, yeah, they just literally did have, like, such a massive win with Astro Bar. 
Um, but then it's like, it's really hard to root for PlayStation after this. It's like, how do you... How do you root for that? I don't know. Um, so... Yeah. Hamaguchi just tweeted the Rebirth will be enhanced with PS5 Pro. Oh, shit. I guess I have to replay it. Finally, an excuse to replay that masterpiece. Uh, on Ubisoft Connect on PC, if you click Shadows, it redirects you to the purchase link for Ubisoft Plus. That's so strange. I guess they, I guess they generally must make more money from Ubisoft Plus subscriptions. Was Astrobot a cushioning for this? Nah. Maybe the release of it? Oh, I don't know. I feel like you would have done it the other way around, though, wouldn't you? I feel like if you were going to do that, like, strategically, would you not announce the PS5 Pro, then release Astrobot? So people go back to being positive? I don't know. I'm going to kill coming out soon. Won't be in the 700, maybe around 500, 600, though. Do we think they're going to do that, though? I just can't understand. Like, I can't see Xbox releasing another console. It just doesn't feel like... It, it feels like a really odd business decision, especially when they're releasing ga their own games on PlayStation now as well as PC. It feels like a, it feel like a weird thing to release another Xbox. What is this? Hmm. Suppose. Wait, Black Myth isn't on Xbox? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Um. I've been following the whole saga. What's the whole saga? Um. Okay, I'm watching to make sound and decisions. Yeah, true, I guess so. Didn't they say new Xbox hardware was coming soon, though? I don't know. It's confirmed? I don't think it's confirmed. Maybe it was leaked, but I don't think the Xbox has said anything, have they? A new Xbox was leaked earlier a couple months ago. Oh, oh okay. Maybe they are, then. But I doubt they'll make, like, a new, a whole new console. I guess they'll make a PS5 Pro competitor. But it would be crazy if they made, like, another one after that. Maybe this will be the, the, the turning point. I don't know. Uh, PS5 Pro would be appealing if PS5 actually had any games to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. There's journalist drama around it. Wait, what, around uh, Xbox? Uh, not having Black Myth Wukong? Uh, because either the reason it is uh, is the Xbox isn't powerful enough to run it, or Sony has some secret exclusivity deal for it. Journalists have been going back and forth about it. Oh, interesting. I mean, maybe they just wanted to release it on PlayStation because it was easier? I don't know, sometimes devs do that, don't they, without having an actual exclusivity deal? Well, they used to back in the day. I don't know if they do anymore. They used to, like, years and years ago. Um, most consoles are, like, very similar now, so... Uh, I haven't read the Xbox sagas yet, true. Um, more with the PS5... PS5 Pro being a thing, GTA 6 will be locked to 30 frames on the base PS5. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I actually, I really wouldn't be surprised. About that. Xbox just had a big press conference, and then one more thing was a PS5 release for Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, it was. So they really aren't going to focus on a console. Uh, they aren't really going to focus on a console market. It's going to be all streaming PC releases. They'll focus on it better. Yeah, I would imagine so. They'll definitely become far more of a software company. Um, at least in terms of video games, obviously. Um, like Sega did in the early 2000s. Okay, what's this link? Sony, after closing down Japan Studio and not bringing back these IPs that they have. Doesn't have enough original IP. Yeah, I saw that. Weird statement. A very strange statement. God damn. Isn't it going to be handheld though? Like, it doesn't count. 
That's been development for ages. What well, the pivot to multi platform happened? Oh, the Xbox. Right. Oh, yeah, I do remember that being a leaked thing. Was the handheld, you know? Oh, man. Good God. Sony, what are you doing? What is this? I'm genuinely, like, dumbfounded. All right, let's whack on the PlayStation and do some Astro Bot. Holy shit. That's crazy. Genuinely crazy to see. I... This is not... I don't, like, I expected it to be pretty unreasonable, because that's just kind of what they do these days. But, like, this feels, this feels, like, particularly obscene, I think. Yeah. Crazy. Oh my god, I have 77 viewers. Bat chest. Huge bat chest moment, guys. Um... I don't know why my camera's in a different place. Uh, Elba's not joining me for today because she's not well. But we're gonna do some Astro Bot anyway. Sorry, I got multiple like music playing at the same time. Holy shit. <laughs> we're gonna try and get some more of this plat done because why the fuck not? Here we are! Oh wait, why is it not loading? Here we go. Sweet! Feels so good to be back. Oh, I need to change my category, don't I? Okay. Um. I'm gonna have to look away as I'm playing Astro Bot with my daughter and I don't want any spoilers. Oh, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, we'd be doing something else. I'm not playing the answer yet. I need to finish this Doctor Who video. I guess we'll do this, and then we can have a stream where we just run back through and collect all the stuff we missed, because I think that'll make a lot of sense. Um, is there almost a part because I'm still playing Wukong and Dominic Ashwood spoilers? Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Eddie already pre-ordered five. <laughs> if Eddie didn't like it, Sony is cooked. <laughs> I've thought livestreaming Black Ops 1 and 2. This game's along with the OG Modern Warfare, the best card games. Uh, I've not really thought about streaming them, no. Um, if anything, we probably do, like, the probably the most I'd ever do is, like, zombies co-op or something, like with George. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I feel like I'm um, in God of War again. <laughs> Man, I've missed this game. This game's so fucking awesome. We got the chicken back. That's awesome. I need to change this. Oh god. I need to drag my conditioner. Uh, I did do the God of War level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very funny. Uh, it's a cool level though, like, you know, not not just funny. It was a cool level. Um, I'll, put, I'll probably play Black Ops 6, but mainly just because it's on Game Pass, so... Why not? I played the beta a little bit. It was fun, but I didn't play enough of it. I still prefer when Call of Duty was very arcade-y, and I, I think that's like the coldest take of all time. But, uh, I don't know, I just agree. Oh my god, what the hell? There's a snake! Ah! Oh, I tell you what, actually, let me change the sound, because I bet the sound is super loud. Who knows? Maybe it is. Um, yeah, you know what? I think we should, we should buy Astro Bot. I mean, we should buy PS5 Pro to support the devs. I think we definitely should. Don't worry, I got this. Oh no! Okay, sorry. I'm just getting the swing of things, All right? Shut up. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Oh, I was supposed to use the chicken. I was supposed to use the chicken. Um, did you intend to not have chat on screen? Uh, no, why don't I have chat on screen? What's that about? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to use the chicken. Sorry, I forgot I had the chicken. You know what? Give me a sec. I need to pee. Um, and then I'll, I'll do this. Um, <clears throat> Did you know that 70% of the Xbox Series market is Series S? That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Alright, it's time to lock the fuck in and not be share games. <coughs> I have a Series S. <coughs> you need to get over and you can't play for shit. Look, we're just warming up, alright? I'm warming up. I promise. Sorry, I've got my I've got my Doctor Who video on the brain. That's what's going on here. Okay, I could do this this time. It's just the snakes freaking me out. It's a scary snake. I can't lie, I thought I could, like, rock it into it. Maybe I can and I just was not right. Like, I wasn't timing it very well. Okay, I mistimed that. Okay, I actually... Um, I... Damn it, I missed. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. I got me the snake. This game is so awesome, dude. Oh shit, I just highlighted my whole screen. Oh no. No, 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 no. That was a mistake. No. I'm oh, shaving the arena. This is epic. Dude, I just my my muscle memory is not telling me to press the trigger. Why do I suck at this? What am I doing? I wonder if the foliage and rebirth will move now. I actually doubt it. Oh, you can do that. Okay, I'm locked in now. Don't worry. Okay, almost. I could totally beat this stupid snake. Oh yeah, she just summoned Solaire. I'm an idiot. Fuck. No! No! no. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh, jeez. Okay, cool. We gotta be close now, because this platform's so small. 
Oh wait, it wants me to grab this. No, come on, grab it. There we go. Oh my god, what the hell? Hey guys, welcome back to Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2, a thief's game. Okay, shit. No, are you joking? Okay. We beat the snake. Yeah, he's dead. It's all over. That is a bit quiet for me now. I don't know what it's like for you, but... Hi, pal. Oh my god. It actually was. It actually was Uncharted. Holy shit. I can't believe Elva missed this one. That's such a shame. She's had through a whole stream of cameos that she didn't recognize. <laughs> Dumbass. Fuck, my mouse is gone. Let's go! Um, is Elle feeling better? She's not. Well, I think she's feeling a little bit better. But She would be here otherwise. Nice. Now we get the Uncharted. Wait, no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it for one Elvis here. Wait, no, do I have to beat it to unlock the next galaxy? Okay, I guess we're doing a stream of going back and just, like, clear cleaning up anything we haven't done, then. Um, okay, we'll do this one. Um, and that's right for Rebirth, all the grass and shit move with the wind. Oh, but it doesn't in the full game. Right, that's interesting. But they, uh, shit. But they seemingly... What the fuck? This thing is so difficult to control. <laughs> Taking this, thanks. Let's go. Uh, I did recently, literally just like probably like half an hour ago, I heard about Spider-Man 4 apparently being a multiverse film again. Which is very funny to hear, to be honest with you, because I really... You know, staying out of the loop with all these things, because I just do not give a shit anymore. Um, I very much did not expect that based on, you know, the ending of the previous film. <laughs> but that's silly of me to think that the previous film would be any sort of indication um, of anything. Clearly. Uh, which, what do I get? Oh, I just need one of those little puzzle pieces. That's all I need. Okay, sweet. And it's the last puzzle piece. So. Oh, that's just a uh, coin. Okay, cool. Nice. Gaming. Alright, give me your stuff. Okay, I'm dumb. I hit the wrong end. That's okay. Um... Okay, we've got to try and find this final piece and everything goes... Oh, we don't even need to find it. The, the bird will show us, right? Um, Leakers have just gone back and, back and forth on the Spider-Man 4 plot and they're just throwing stuff out there. Yeah, true. I mean, that, that's... I, I guess I've seen a lot of things about Spider-Man 4 and I've kind of just felt like... Well... I don't think we really know until it comes out. Or we see a trailer. Because... I don't know, they, they're always saying shit, like, there was a lot of stuff before No Way Home where it was like, Oh, Tom Holland's fucking not in it, and everyone's dead, I don't know, like, it was a lot of bullshit, so it's like, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they do another multiverse film, I'd be like, yeah, it sounds about fucking right. Um, but also, I don't think it, I feel like anything could happen, really. We need all the cans. All right. 
Oh, that's just for that thing. Yeah, we already have that one. All right, big bird, show me where the fucking gaming is. Oh wait, this is literally the wrong way. Yeah. The only thing that's been confirmed in the last 24 hours is that it has the same rise as the first three films, and the director attached is the Shang-Chi director. I thought Shang-Chi was quite a nice looking film, so... Like, as MCU films go... Oh my god. But even still, like, I think at this point, like, I just don't really care. I don't even know if I'll see Spider-Man 4. It'll, it'll depend on the trailer. If the trailer comes out and I'm like, oh yeah, that really appeals to me, then I'll watch it. But if it doesn't, then I just have to like, obviously. Okay, I don't want to miss this last thing. Oh, the bird will tell me where it is though, won't it? So... Will the bird tell me, like... Well, yeah, it has to tell me. Wait. Do I have to take a screenshot of one of these? Was that... That was a trophy, right? Oh. I thought that was a trophy. Is there a specific button I have to press? Oh, hard to know. Get it like oh, okay. The trophy is for the photo mode. Oh, so there's a photo right, okay, I see. She was was okay. I don't think that's a very hot take. To be honest. Um, I feel like most people would probably say that. It's a very. I see that all the time, and I don't think it's true. the fucking thing I'm looking for! What? What? Where was it? Oh, God damn it, man. We gotta replay the level again. I don't know where it was. I just couldn't find it. The bird also wasn't telling me where it is. God, I was also talking about it. You have to go, ban me. Go on. Ban me. Do it. Oh, I think that's right. I, don't know. I still don't really understand how that controls. Come on, bird. This time you're going to show me again how to do it. How does the bird work? It starts tweeting at you, doesn't it? I remember it directing me before, but I didn't hear anything this, this last time. This is really annoying, actually. What the hell? How have I fucked this up? Okay, 
cool. The chirps happen ambiently. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it makes trigger rumbles? Wait, what? What? Okay. My fingers aren't perpetually on the triggers, so... Radar starts flashing. Oh, the bird has a radar. I'm pretty sure we got everything that was in here, so... Yeah, I got everything that was in here. Wait, is it over this? No, this is just where you're supposed to go. But isn't that when the gorilla shows up? Or is it later? What level is this? Oh, uh, it's called Construction Derby. I can't wait to play this, just don't have the funds for it right now. Understandable, understandable. Nobody has the funds for anything Sony puts out these days. Just near the end? Okay. I must have just completely missed it. Under here, under the platform with the pink bunnies? Okay. Oh, yeah! Holy shit, I didn't even notice that. What the hell? Yay! I assume you start to finish the level, don't you? Nice. Oh, you can leave? Oh, sweet. Okay, well, I guess we'll... I mean, we've done it now, but... get the extra coins. Alright, nice. Okay, we do have, like, all of these. We have these, um... Challenge ones. Okay, we'll do, we'll do these. In the original? I don't remember. I literally don't remember the original. 
Nice. Man, honestly, I keep thinking about close time to finishing this Doctor Who video. And I love it. I'm so happy. It's so close. I knew what I was supposed to do, I'm sorry. I... Wow. We got the aspirational cat. Nice. Wanna go playing Astro, Astro Player and take? Five hours? No, not even. Not even. Because the the whole stream was five hours, but we spent an hour and a half beforehand going through all of the junk in in um because we like moved it. No wait, we've been moved in a year. Anyway, my parents gave me a bunch of junk from my old bedroom. We spent like an hour and a half going through all that, and then we played it. So three and a half hours, I think. Whoa, this is so epic. Okay, come on, dude. Yeah, you should do it. It's fun. I liked it. I do- I did like- like, the one thing I did like about Astro's playroom compared to this is I think it had better theming? I think- I think this game is cool when it does the bat chest levels. But I- I think- I think generally I- I thought the uh... Like, every level being a different part of the PlayStation, like, was cool. This one feels a bit more like just random stages. Like, I get I get the context is, like, going to random planets. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but I don't know. I love the levels being themed around different parts of the PlayStation. This game is more a celebration of games, whereas Playroom was more a celebration of PlayStation. Yeah, for sure. And I think, yeah, and I, I guess that's what these sort of are. Like, these are all, like, reminiscent of classic video game levels. But they still feel, like, super random as well. I think if they'd all, like, every level was based on a PlayStation game... That would kind of be cool. But they do just feel a bit random. Oh. Wait, was that it? <laughs> okay. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Okay. Maybe I should do what Elva said with chat, actually. Um, Streamlabs. I want to try it and see what it would be like. Because then I can have it on screen and I wouldn't have it taking up the whole screen too, which would be pretty useful. Are the challenge maps like um, Arkham? I'm really wanting to replay Arkham. I'm, I've really been wanting to replay a lot of stuff, but I'm already like playing a lot of games the videos and stuff uh chat box i can't notice it in the thing can i have to do it yeah we have to go so if we go hide messages after 15 seconds Yeah, chat box is broken though, that's the thing. Oh no, it's not, there it is. Well, we can make it smaller because they'll disappear. So...
Eh, that'll do. Whatever. Um, okay, we did everything here now, though. So this is this whole galaxy done. Move on to the next one. Uh... Back cave. Let's go. I live in the back cave. What okay, game is this Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? <laughs> what the fuck? Guys, this is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they put in a little minigame like this in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 3. I say I wouldn't be surprised, but like, I would be pretty surprised. Okay, we need the bird. Come on, the bird. Oh, yeah, so it was that we missed. Yeah, I remember. How did we get the... Oh, it's here, right? This reminds me of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood when you have to climb out of the pit. I need to get it's a it's a portal and a thing so I'm, I'm clearly not near it because burb says no i think i've already done this haven't i i wonder where that character is that i missed I mean, the bird should tell me, but... Is it across here, bird? Was it down here somewhere? Wow! definitely did this, didn't I? Oh wait, he's dinging. Did I not do this? I thought I remember doing this. Oh, I didn't do it. Okay. Sweet, we got the bot. Nice. Oh, well, I might open the epic secret passage, but it's still cool that I let you do that. Okay, Burb, where is the epic location? God, Jesus Christ. Ah, geez, fuck. Game thinks it's just on. He's got to react soon. Come on, Burb. What's going on? We've already done over there, haven't we? Yeah. That's all completed. So it must be just further on. No, because this is the end of the level, isn't it? That was just where there's a character.
Oh, I'm so confused. He's still- there's still nothing? Really? I don't understand! Oh, there was a thing in here, we already got this, yeah. Burp, please. This is the end, isn't it? Yeah, this is the boss. So we missed it. Okay, maybe it's towards the start of the level then. find it if it's the last thing that I do. Is it just like down here somewhere? What the fuck? What the fuck? It's just a gamer. Oh, for God's... Okay, I'm restarting the fucking level. That was my cry at the ending of the game. Oh, I hope so. Get the get the banana gloves, <laughs> whatever, and then go back and let's try and find this goddamn ball. Didn't Elva do the first half of this level? Or no, I think it was me. I just don't remember it very well. everything around here. So it can't be back at the start. Let's jump through the hoop. Let me do it. Go around the side, maybe. No, I can't. This is stupid. I'm looking for the portal. It's after the boss fight. What? Fuck. Okay, back on with it. Fuck.
I was literally at the end of the level, god damn it. and I fucking raid that shit. Imagine if you raided that shit in. Did Aspen Gold ever go in with the boys and raid that shit? Or did that just never? Did he not play as Aspen Street Valhalla? Was it too woke, maybe? Okay, we're at the end of the level. Fucking hell. Oh. Motherfucker! Go to the core, the right of the stage. Okay. This is like Horizon. They should have made it a uh, Horus. I like how that feels, it's real cool. Nailed it! Imagine if Astrobot died. Okay, go to the claw at the right of the stage. Ah, see, I didn't see that one. When I played before, I literally, I just didn't look behind me. All the treasures. Sweet. I think the Joker movie's bad. I know, hot take, I know. That's super. No one's ever said, no one's ever concluded that the Joker film is shallow. Light bulb, limbo. Oh, this is really cool. This is like that one level, that one section in um, Dark Souls. It's like when you go to New Londo. New Londo ruins. And you have all the little ghosts and shit. Who the hell does he think he is? I, I, I knew that was going to happen, and I just, I did it again. I thought I could win. I thought, like, I could get cheeky and just get a, get it before he...
We got him. The Joker just doesn't say anything. It just like, it's far too concerned with trying to replicate films that are good than it is concerned with trying to be a film about Joker that also says something worth saying. It sort of just goes like, it, it sort of feels like a 15 year old's fan film. It's kind of like, hey, Mental health, like that's that's it. That's the whole that's the whole thing. Like cool, cool man. Yeah. What about mental health though? People have like things sometimes. Oh really? <laughs> cool. <laughs> society bad. Sometimes people in society bad to people who also in society as well. <clears throat> it just like makes up for it by looking really nice. Um, and also Joaquin Phoenix does a really good job. He's, he's like giving a really good performance as well, which does help. Uh, Missed someone. Hang on, hang on. Not just yet, buddy. We missed someone. Oh, I need a thing though. Oh no. I think we'll have to replay. We'll just replay it with the fucking bird, whatever. It's okay. Joker does say society, that is my favourite Joker quote of all time. Yeah, I just don't think it does anything. I think it has ideas, but then it's like, they were all, like, I don't know. I think it, it like, tackles subjects, it doesn't tackle themes. Like, this, the theme, like, the subject of the film are mental health and the way the way that society treats um, outcasts and people um, who are struggling financially and like obviously like in other ways too those are like the subjects of the film but it doesn't like there aren't any themes to them though it's just like yeah those are things to think about <laughs> be cool if the movie like ha like tackled those Oh wow, that was, I just got comboed. One, two, comboed into the, into a grave. Ah, you have to drop that, I see. Okay, come on, we'll, we'll do it now. I mean, everything was going fine for the for the most part until we got to this end area. So the other character must be around here somewhere. Damn it! Oh, Vincent. That would have been a perfect opportunity to have Vincent Valentine show up. Vamp champ. 
Okay, cool. So we can leave now. Nailed it! Uh, are there any other comic book films that you find of, like, Joker? Like, what? Well, bad. I mean, like, all of them. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't think there's many comic book films that, like, have things, like, really, like, that interesting worth, like, to say. Alright, let's start with this one, I guess. Oh, this is gonna be a lot. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Every time I see Joke Episode of 5, it's a fucking jump scare. <laughs> Like, I think even, like, good comic book films don't, it's not like, I don't know, don't necessarily have, like, tons to say. Like, um, I don't know, I, I, I always really liked Winter Soldier, but it's like, yeah, I mean, it's, it says something, I guess. It's not saying much, though. How do I... Do I need to get the... I need to get, like, the special item of this level, don't I? Clearly. How, though? I would think so. Kind of films that I think are overrated? Oh, um... Uh, overrated? I mean, I'm sure there must be. Uh, other than Joker, I don't think there's anything that stands out as, like, very obviously, like, oh, that's people really, like, hype that up when it's not that good. I think people generally tend to understand, like, it's kind of a movie. I'm gonna end up completing this without getting the thing, but like I, d I genuinely have no clue how I'm supposed to get to this other item or this other character or whatever. I thought there was like a special item for the level, but I don't think there actually is. Okay, there's a guy down there. Oh, not a guy, but one of those things. Okay, sweet, we got that. So it's somewhere over there? Oh, wait, do I have to like... Oh, shit. Oh, I thought it was- oh wait, no, it's just under there. I thought maybe I had to, like, jump side to side. Yeah, who overrates X-Men 3? Batman eight I've not seen Batman 1989, so I couldn't comment. Um, no Way Home. Uh, yeah, maybe people do overrate that. I don't know. I, I, I've never... I don't feel like I've never seen anyone claim... Like, I think with Joker is that... I guess the weird part about that one for me that stands out is the, how people treat it as like, oh no, it's this, like, you know, really, like, profound film. 
Whereas I don't think anyone's like treating No Way Home that way. They're just like, yeah, this was a really solid character story. Which I'm like, yeah, I think that too. Like, if anyone was trying to say that Spider-Man No Way Home is like, you know... Uh, like, deep, insightful art, then yeah, I would also call it overrated. But I think most people are just saying that it's like... Really solid conclusion, really cool, you know, um, character story that's like well-written. Um, like, works as a really nice conclusion to the MCU Spider-Man trilogy as it stands currently. Um, like, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Like, in the same way, you know, In Infinity War Endgame are, like, these huge, like, things, but, you know. I don't know. People, I would argue people underrate No Way Home. I think they're supposed to. Yeah, right. I Yeah, no, I probably think that too, yeah. I think, I, I mean, I remember people really liking it when it came out, but then I think it got... Like, uh, it's interesting because a lot of these, like, like cameo slop films get, like, praised to the high heavens. But for some reason... I've seen a lot of, like, pushback into, like, for No Way Home. Oh my god. Um, which is odd, because I, to me it's one of the only films that is, like, you know, obviously one of the huge parts about it is the cameos. But, the, like, you know, deeply makes it a part of, like, super meaningful to me, anyway. I, I still think that. I mean... I haven't rewatched it in ages, so do I need to stop fucking this bit up? Um, I haven't watched it in ages since it came out, um, but I like to think I would still like it. There wasn't even anything here anyway. There's still two more guys to get. What am I missing? I haven't been over that way. Okay, we could try that, I guess. Isn't that the end of the level, though? It is, isn't it? But we don't have to complete the level. We can just carry on di dicking around. Ah, yeah, see? So yeah, okay. Okay, cool. So now we need one more, and also the portal? Or, yeah, one more and the portal. I mean, the only other one I know was over here. But I still don't know how to activate that. Oh, wait, you use the enemy! That's clever. Okay, cool. So Disco Ball is in here. I want to go get the other character first, though. Because one character that we've missed. We'll find the other character, and then we'll do the Disco Ball. Hmm. If I were another character, where would I be? I actually have no clue. What the heck? 
This way? The tower at the end of the level when the robot brings you up. Oh. Can I still go back to the disco ball? I want to do this as efficiently and systematically as humanly possible. I can jump off. Oh, okay. Sweet, 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 sweet. I wasn't sure if it would, like, do an automatic completion because it did that one time. Wait, but wasn't that the last one? Yeah, that would have been the last one. So I've missed one down there, no? Oh, unless it's down here. But I haven't... The last one's at the top. Oh. Never mind, then. I'm just a silly guy doing silly things. Making mistakes. It's what I do. I think No Way Home would have got the hype if the cameos weren't in it. Um, I don't think it would have got the hype. But I also don't think the story works without the cameos. You know? Nailed it. Uh, question for the whole chat. I'm planning on getting a PS5 Pro when it comes out. Should I sell my original? Uh, I probably would, because there's no, there's like no, there's no benefit to having a PS5, I guess. Other than like, I guess if you like collecting consoles, then it'd be like, you know, keep it because for that reason. But other than that, no. Yeah, if you're gonna get a Pro, definitely uh, trade in your PS5 for it. I would think. I mean, I traded in my PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. Wait, did I? No, I still have my Xbox One X. And I still have my PS4 Pro. You know what? I'm actually just a liar. I just bought them. disk drive. Yeah, but aren't, aren't they selling it separate? So it's like, yeah, you can still get one, so I guess there's that. Okay. Ghouls and bots. Sounds like Twitter. <laughs> Wait, another scary level? What the heck? Yeah, but but then but then like then the, but there's still no point in having a PS Five because then if you if you're keeping it for the disc drive, it means you'll just be playing all your games on the regular PS Five anyway if you if you have discs. So there's no point in even upgrading then at that point. Shit. So I guess like it really is one or the other. I don't think I have any PS5 discs, actually, thinking about it. Oh no, I do, I have Demon Souls. I think that's it, though. Miles Morales I have as well, I think. 
I forgot how old the PS5 is, actually, thinking about it. Because I'm like, oh, PS5 is a new console. But thinking about it, I'm like, no, I have fucking Miles Morales on it, which I, for some reason, thought was a PS4 Pro game. Is that, a, is that a demon soul? Or is it not? I don't know. Fragile Knight. Relieved that they remembered to put on underwear. Yeah, it is, right? Oh, it's not Demon Souls? Ah, oh, shit. Well, it is Demon Souls to me. <laughs> I thought it was a joke about how most people unequip all of their armor to um, be able to not fat roll. That's what I thought that joke was. in a different level. Well, there you go. What? What? Wait, what? Why did that happen? I keep double jumping off the edge instead of being able to jump and then jump. Nice! Oh, I see. Uh, it's, it's this guy. supposed to do? Supposed to stand in between them both? Oh! <laughs> That's very funny. Game that uses good PS5 control microphone. Um, does it? Isn't there a game that uses it for like stealth sections? Like, 
Luigi's Mansion. What the fuck? I missed characters. Well, I, I thought they really thought they'd be at the end. Oh. Oh my god, it's this guy from um, Silent Hill. Oh man. My headphones are hurting my head. Oh, I definitely missed that. Um... Damn it. I fucking hate this. I missed one of those things. We've got to play the whole fucking level again. Well, not the whole level, but... God damn it! Oh, was it behind? Was it, like, right near the end of the level? That's so annoying. It's okay. My favourite genre of movies. I don't really have a favourite genre. Actually, like, that is an interesting question. I actually don't think I do. Nice, okay. Alright, come with me, buddy. We got gaming to do. Sony assures fans PS5 Pro will also not have any exclusives. <laughs> Honestly, the people that are like, oh, but technically it actually does have exclusives, that's a stupid joke. They're quite funny. Like, yeah, technically it does have a couple. Like, yeah, you're not wrong. Technically, it does have a couple. Nice. Nailed it. Whether this game has the same mission marker as Assassin's Creed 3, <laughs> I guess it does look very similar, doesn't it? Um, wait, so we did everything in this galaxy, right? Yeah, 100% of it, cool. Back to Octopus. Oh, yeah, we got loads to do in Octopus. Holy shit. 
I got a whole nother one? What the hell? Let's do this. Nice. Nailed it, so we've got the man. Will the game boost thing be frame rate or just resolution and stuff? I'm not sure that correctly. It with the PS5 Pro. From what I got, like both, right? I guess we did this one too. Oh. Lol. Um, but I assume it's like trying, it's like, because if it works just like exactly the same, shit, as, um, DLSS does, then it's just gonna allow lower resolutions to look like higher resolutions. Okay, main stop. While being able to increase frame rate. Ah, I, I was right, okay. At least I know I'm doing the right thing. I didn't... <sighs> Fuck. Nice. Looks like FPS for some next to the Yeah, but the only thing that Xbox Series X FPS boost actually does is just boost the frame rate to games that are old. Because they're so old, obviously a Series X can run it at 60, whereas it, what it originally couldn't. But you can't do that with new games, because they're already being pushed, pushed to the limits. So you have to use DLSS or something else. Similar-ish. Downsize surprise! Alright, we've got to try and get this. Come with me, bub. Oh wait, we need uh That's fine. I didn't do that last time because I just came and climbed this. That was fucking stupid. I'm. It's okay. I'm good at games. Wait, I really didn't do this. Wait, what the heck? Who the hell is this? Definitely already done this one, haven't I? So we can just do this because there's those where the Apple of Edens are.
Okay, well, what? Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Wow, how did I miss, like, all of these? They're, like, right here. I think I might be a little bit of an idiot, I can't lie. Oops. Oh my god, it's the boy! It's literally Katamari guy. And I didn't get him. I feel so bad about that. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to... Wow. Nice, we got them all. We just need one more puzzle piece, right? Oh, it's up there. Oh, okay. Shit. Oh no, that's the that's the portal. Damn it! So where's the last puzzle piece? Okay, I, I'll come back when we've got the puzzle piece. Because I accidentally hit it. Ah, uh, yeah, it's up there, I see. Nice. All right, we'll go get the other. We'll go get the ball now. Cool. Nailed it, boys. Nailed it. This reminds me of Toy Story. Yeah, it reminds me of Toy Story too. I wonder if that's because it's because you're going small. Got like a similar vibe. <sighs> okay, well, two never got the boost, which is sad because we're under by 60 FPS. That's really odd. Really strange. It's weird that they never got Fable on PC, yeah. That is odd. I feel like it would make so much sense to remaster Fable 1, 2, and 3 and put them on PC before the new one comes out. It doesn't even have to be a remaster. Ideally not a remaster, actually. Just the originals, because every time a game gets a fucking remaster, 
they fuck something up. Like, some of the lighting is cooked, or faces look weird, or like, something is something takes a hit for it every fucking time. Is anyone looking good? Fable? Um... I don't know. I feel like I've not really talked about it much. I think it's up in the air. I think it has a chance to be good and a chance to be bad. I don't, I don't really know. I, I'm not mad on the art style. I think Fable is best when it looks, like, silly. Like, kind of goofy. And, like, I think that's one of the reasons why I think the protagonist, at least the one they've been using, I assume character creation is in the game. It'd be crazy if it wasn't when it's Fable. Um... Well, like, not character creation, but at least... You, well, I, honestly, character creation would be good. I feel like that would be cool. I feel like like Fable's been sorely missing character creation. Because it was always... You could choose between male or female. And then you would customize, like, after the fact. Like, you change their hair and their clothes, makeup, uh, facial hair, tattoos, stuff like that. But you would do it, like, as you play. Wow, that's so cool. I'll picture that. Oh shit! Wait. That's so cool. Um. It would be cool to have character creation, but if you don't, that would be crazy. If there's just no character creator, at all, like nothing, you, you just play as that one character. No, you don't even get to choose male or female. That'd be weird, because that just feels like goes against a lot, a lot of Fable's core principles, I guess. Oh, shit. Uh, describing AC3 Remastered? Yeah, true. I mean, that's every... It's like every fucking remaster. It happens to. AC3 is just one old. I also disagree with what I said about AC3 Remastered when I made my video on that when it came out. I said that they improved it. Like, I think everything, like, the only real improvements are probably the HUD and uh, the way it handles the, like, ranged uh, weapons. I don't think anything else is better. Oh, they also fixed, did they fix how uh, option, like, costumes work or outfits work in cutscenes? Like, colours. Like, dyed colours. Or maybe that's, like, in my head. How the fuck do I get over there? Can you stand on these? Nice. Oh, yeah, let you double assassinate? Yeah, 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 yeah. Double assassinate from, um... Low profile, yeah, you couldn't do that in the original. Yeah, true, true, that, that is an improvement. Okay, that one I think is, yeah. Oh. I didn't see that before. Wow. Who the hell are you? Puzzle cube. I'm waiting for an actual gameplay for showcase before doing any judgment on it. I just don't do much. Yeah, that's why I don't really know what to say about Fable. Because I think it, like, it, like, everything we've seen is, like, this could be really cool, but it could also not be as well. I don't, I really have no fucking clue. Um, like, we need to see how humor plays in when you're just doing, like, a normal quest. How the general vibe of the world feels. How the actual, like, art style ends up looking, like, when you're playing it as well. Because it could feel more fably when it all comes together in like a gameplay section but when you're just seeing it like it then it looks a bit weird i don't know i mean i don't think it's i, I still don't think like it's gonna be um it's gonna look as good as the originals like in terms of its art style i still think it looks a bit too realistic 
I, why'd I do... Am I stupid? Okay. Nice! Who the hell are you? Wow. We got ourselves a gamer. A true gamer. Oh, are you joking? That was so stupid. Um... Oh, damn it. What are you thoughts on the price of the PS5 Pro? Oh, <laughs> ridiculous. Ludicrous. Wait, where's the last character? Oh. <laughs> oh, we didn't get the last, um... We'll have to go back and find that then. I don't know where that is. Yeah, I agree. I do think sometimes it's bad at conveying depth perception. I think that's probably, like, the only criticism, really, that I have. Oh, fuck. Is that sometimes, yeah, it feels like I don't know how far I'm jumping. how long I'll go for today because I do want to try and get a little bit of editing done. Uh, I was hoping to maybe have the video finished today but I don't think I will. Uh, well we could try and uh, we could at least complete this galaxy 100%. Oh I barely did anything in this one. That's fine. I should get another But yeah I was hoping to get the Doctor Who video finished today. Um, the only other thing, the only thing I need to do for it, well, I need to edit the, the bits that I've got, like, left to edit. Um, but then I need to record the outro, so I need to get my hair cut tomorrow. Then I can record the outro, that'll be done, and then the whole video will be finished. I just have to, um... Sort Patreon... Uh, the Patreon video. So all of my, um... References and... Uh, do you get the subtitles finished? And then... The, then the only other hurdle I have after all that stuff is, will it get copyright claimed? But I think at this point, I have done everything I can to avoid it. So I really don't, like, I've just got to deal with it. Like, maybe I will get copyright claimed. And if I do, then I do. It's whatever. I'll just plug the Patreon a bunch and hope that people go over to Patreon. And then I can work on some videos that will probably be a bit more, like, will make, like, you know, make me some money to sort of make up for the losses I'm probably going to take on it. But... It's fine, it's whatever, it was my choice. Can I blow him this time? No. Thought maybe I could blow him.
Did I go around this? Oh wait, what does he want? Oh, how did I miss this guy? <laughs> What? Did I just skip this whole... I must have done. What the hell's that? Oh wait, is that Deacon? Oh my god, it is! It's Deacon! Oh no, the woke mob has got him! No! Look what the woke mob have done to Deacon! I will say in hindsight, I regret giving um, giving that guy the benefit of the doubt on, stream, on last stream. Um, clearly he's a lunatic. Um, after he said more things and like I've actually seen it all in context. <laughs> what? Oh! Wait, what the hell? Wait, what, what just happened there? What is- wait, was something happening? I'm confused, I swear to god. Okay, I don't know what. I, don't, I swear to god I grabbed hold of his feet and started flying into the air. The golf ball? Wait, what golf ball? Oh, the, the fucking guy was holding. Oh, yeah. I didn't register that was a golf ball. I thought it was a snowball. Damn it. Nailed it. Silly, okay. Uh, no. Ryan Zayas. Into the mouth. Oh, yes, I remember this level now. This is literally the level where we were talking about the Days Gone guy. That's crazy that I didn't get Deacon when we were fucking talking about it. Where's the next game? What's going on? Here? Okay. 
Oh, he's up there somewhere, okay. Sweet gaming! I will be doing Persona 3 DLC at some point, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, once I'm finished this... Oh, shit. <clears throat> once I'm done with this video I'm working on, I will be doing it. Hey, Medi-Geek! Um, shit! Jesus Christ. But yeah, as soon as I'm done with this video, that's when we'll be jumping into Persona 3 DLC. And I should be done with it in a couple days. Oh. <laughs> I'm back, I just got flamed by a lot of people on this school. They said if I get the PS5 Pro, I'll be the dumbest person in the world. I mean, it doesn't particularly look like a good deal, but, uh, you know, it's kind of just up to you. Like, if it's something you can afford and, like, you want it, then, I mean... Cool. Like, that's fine. <laughs> Damn it! Um, they've only announced like 15 games gonna give us a lot great, and Final Fantasy 16 is not one of them for some reason. No. Oh. That's really funny. Like, honestly, it is funny, because the, um, the Xbox has always been my go-to for, like, oh, this is a console that always upgrades its games and will always stay, like, it, you know, increases FPS, increases resolution and stuff. So, like, it's a good investment. Whereas PlayStation's always like, no, this is just what you get, and it will stay like this forever. Um, it's like, you know, like Red Dead Redemption 2. They haven't boosted the FPS of Red Dead Redemption 2 on Xbox yet. But resolution they've increased. Like it's better on Xbox than it is on PlayStation. Oh. Characters do I have to get two and a puzzle piece? Holy shit.
Aha, nice. You got the puzzle piece. God damn it! <clears throat> Surely the Pixel Remastered Final Fantasy 16 is completely viable. Uh, sure the, blah, 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 blah. But I do not see the 7 remakes heading over to the, until the trilogy is complete. Yeah, I would imagine so. That's pretty cool. Nice. Wait, what? I missed one. Dude, what do you mean? Okay, we're going back, I guess. God damn it. Where did I miss one? It's not in here, so it was even further back? Where? What? Where did I come from? I'm so confused. This is not my first time playing Zelda, though. <sighs> God damn it. Well, we fucked it. Now I need to restart the fucking level. Oh, that's so annoying. I, d I didn't see the bird start twitching. Oh my god, this level's so long. Let's just speed run it, come on. Okay, here we go, into the tree! This music kind of sounds like Persona. At points, not right now necessarily, but... Did the bird just tweet when I was over here? Yeah, I know I got the one in here, because I remember going up to the top and having to grab it. Oh, fuck, and there was also another one out here that I got too. So it was the next one after that that I didn't get.
So it's coming up. Whatever one I didn't get is coming up. Yeah, this way. Okay, yeah. For some reason I just didn't see the bird do anything. God damn it. Holy shit, dude. <clears throat> Isn't that kind of what they're doing already, making PCs with their own controller? I mean, isn't that kind of what they are anyway? Nice! Oh my god, it's Kana! From the critically acclaimed Kana Bridge of Spirits! She's with Deacon. I know you never listened to the diss tracks, but did you see Tendrick Lamar is going to perf uh, perform at the Super Bowl? There's a non-zero chance he's going to call Drake a pedophile in front of the entire world. I mean, hasn't he kind of already done that, though? Nice. That was a that was a long one, that was. Jesus. Oh, we only have one character to get here. Perfect. Holy shit. Perfect. Yeah, you could just leave after collecting him. I found that out today and was quite shocked. We got the punching gloves. Okay, so it's just, yeah, just one of those. Yeah, and it was after we got Joel. So, no, it's before Joel. Okay, before Joel. So it's got to be coming up soon, then. Because Joel was close to here, right? Joel was... Uh, Joel was somewhere around here. Oh, is he burbing? Yeah, he is. Oh, see, that's that's pretty crazy. Nice! Beautiful. More stuff with Astrobot, just have 20 more bots to go, and then I'll get the platform extra playroom. And I'll play the answer. The answer. The answer from Persona 5. Okay, how many did we get and I'll get here? Oh, we just need one puzzle piece? That's so annoying when I didn't get, like, one thing. Okay, well, when we've done this, um, I'll go back to the home world, do a bunch of stuff there to, like, you know, a bit of housekeeping, and then we'll call it a day for today, I guess. That'll probably be the plan. And then when Elva's, um, uh, feeling alright, we'll get back and we'll make some more actual progress. Um. Well, the cutscenes. Oh shit, the debate is tonight. The debate. Presidential debate. Oh. The presidents are going to go head to head in a 1v1 on Rust. Sweet. Honestly, it was such a cool level. I can't wait to do the Uncharted one, man. Why do I have to be sick today? I 
Wait, do I have to get all of Odin's ravens? Is that what it is? Is that how I get, um... The thing? Is that what it wants me to do? Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Maybe it does, though. Have I missed it yet? I'm confused. It must be right at the end, right? Oh! Shit. Flash is a power crazy mod. Oh, nice, it's down here. Nice! Bot of War. Beautiful, right, well, let's go back to the home world for now, the main area. This is good. I think I like chat only appearing on screen a bit, actually. You know, I think I actually like that. Because then it keeps it clean. Oh my god, look at all the characters we got! This is so cool! Sweet! Oh, is this outfits? Cool. Now we can dress up like the guy. Oh. Let's go! Yes! Let's fucking go! This is awesome. Uh, the empty grey box. Uh, yeah, true. But then it's difficult to see chat. What if we do... Okay, let's... Oh, fuck, my leg hurts. Jesus. <clears throat> um, can we change it to be like... I can have like a background colour. I don't like that. I like the Twitch one, but... Oh, I don't like old school. That's bad. Chunky. No, I don't like that either. We'd have to have the Twitch one. But how do we do background colour? No, see, that doesn't want to be shown. Yeah, so you can't even have, like, a back background. That's annoying. I can make the text colour a different colour. Nah, no, that looks weird, too.
<laughs> your chunky IRL. <laughs> yeah, see, look, you can't read that. I think we're going to have to just keep the uh, the grey box. Drop shadow to the text itself. Um, no, I could do it. I could hang on. Let me try something. Keep typing in chat, because I need to be able to see it. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, but it's a different way, shit. Okay, so what I need to do is... Hang on. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, this is a process. Give me a sec. Um... Um, okay, can we actually... Let's, let's just... Let's delete that filter. Give me a sec. Uh... Then let's go browser source. And we'll call it chat... Uh, shadow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's not gonna work like that. Why can't I paste a duplicate? Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm just, I'm realizing that I just, I, fuck, I can't fucking do it. It's too complicated. Why isn't there a way of like adding? Just a shadow. a drop shadow in OBS. Here okay. Kush has asked, what is the best way to apply a drop shadow without using shader filter? It is the Stroke Glow Shadow plugin by Finite Singularity. I've done a full video on my... Okay. Hold on. Watch it, like, cost money or something. People fucking charging the stuff they make. Grow up. Just grow up. Um... Okay. okay. Hold on. I'm running it, the application. No, just run it anywhere on my PC. If I get fucking malware, I'll think I'll live. Um... Is that where OBS is installed? Oh, hold on. Where the fuck is OBS installed? It must be. It must. It must be. I think it'll be fine. That's probably. It must be where it's installed. Um, install. Okay, now what? I don't, I don't actually know how to do it. Okay, hold on. My YouTube channel of this plugin, yeah, and Linux. Uh, I've used it on this 
be going out to uh, it's it back and we've been all that jazz. It's just a filter and wait, but I don't have it. Oh, I must have to like restart OBS or something. Yeah, I imagine I have to restart OBS. Either that or this is not where OBS is installed and I just installed it to the wrong place. Yeah, look, I'll, just, I'll have it sorted for next stream, alright? And everything will be good and chat will actually be sick then. It'll be so cool. I can't wait. Okay, um... I think this is everything here that, like, I could, could or wanted to do, right? I don't think there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else like knocking around here, is there? There's that over there, but we need the puzzle pieces for that. Um, the big cat thing. Oh yeah, I could do some kind of shit. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's wrap up the stream with some gotcha. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, stealth outfit. Whoa, epic. This is so fun. Whoa, origami bird. Is that from Heavy Rain? Oh, that's so cool! It's the box from Metal Gear! Oh my god, look at that! That's so cute! Oh, let's go. Oh, nice, nice. This is so fun. Oh, shit. It's for the boy. I thought it was a buster sword for a minute. <laughs> wow, a gamer. The motorbike. Oh, it's for Deacon. the hell? Lol. Oh, that should have been for Abby. Oh, that's so cool. Tree for Charlie. Oh, I don't know that reference. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm always playing it with the PlayStation controller. Gold. Oh, that's rubbish. I want that. Oh, nice. Orange. Village loudspeaker. I don't know what that's from. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Oh god, don't show that to Elba. Oh god. I'll let her know next time we stream. She can use that, that'll be funny. Eight catcher. Wow. Hello outfit. Fungus head outfit. Yellow. Oh nice! That's so cool. I wanna dress this him. Oh, a thing from Journey. Banana on a stick. Kana! Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, it would be nice to know, like, besides just the fun little description, if it actually told you, like, what it is and what it's from, that would be quite nice.
cool. We'll go we'll go test some of these. Oh green one! Yo, nice, I'll put that on. Oh my god. Wise cracking sidekick. Vibrating Shokuto. Boy's bow. Banana. So many fucking banana stuff. Bloodborne, let's go! That's so cool. Oversized fruit knife. Oh, cool! It's the dude from um, Shadow of the Colossus, that's fun. We'll just spend all of our money, might as well. Oh, nice from in here. Good job. Oh, brick! Cookie bowl. Guitar. Another one for monkey. Pirates. Oh, sweet, he's got the sword. Why'd I get two just Oh, I didn't, it was transforming it, yeah. I'm an idiot. Another banana. Oh, it's the last one. It's for Woke Ratchet. is so cool we're just like adding little bits and stuff to this area like it just it's got a real sense of like really populating it and making it feel like a like a you know like a home i think it's really cool <laughs> he's doing his thing uh so they need their items i see <laughs> That's fun. Where's the bloke-born guy? There he is. Oh, he's parrying me! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> he's parrying me! Oh, this is great! Dude, this game is so fucking charming. I love this shit. Oh my god, I should have done it. He's gonna brick me. Oh no, Joel. Okay. The little, little men. Whoa. I've never played that game, so I don't get that. I should play it, really. <laughs> this is swing. Alright, there we go. Well, cool. Um, I guess that's it for now. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, I guess it's for now. We'll um, stream sometime in the next next few days. Um, and when we do, we'll uh, we'll push on with the actual 
main missions and see what we get. Wait, why is there a... I'll sort out the uh, drop shadow for next stream as well. Um, yeah, I should play Rift Apart at some point. I do want to play um, the Ratchet and Clank games at some point. Um, yeah, cool. All right, thank you everyone for joining me and hanging out. I'll see you soon uh, for some more of this. Um, and then obviously next thing will be Persona 5, uh, Persona, <laughs> Persona 3, uh, <laughs> the answer. When I'm done with this Doctor Who video, which should be too long. And then there's a whole bunch of streams I want to do, so I'll be you know, back to streaming properly. I also have a video that I haven't put out on, um, It's Last Boy yet, that I really should put out, oh god, um, that I really should put out at some point, uh, to sort of, like, update and be like, look, I am, I am trying to come back to do some streaming and put, put some stuff on It's Last Boy and, you know, edit some videos again and stuff, um, and I really will do that once I am done with this Doctor Who video, everything will be, I'll try to, because I want to, you know, more than anything else. It's not because I think people like are like, oh, when, like, where'd everything go? Um, more for me, really. I just I liked doing it, and it's sad that I stopped doing it. Um, but you know, there you go. Well, uh... Oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, that'll be cool. What's up this circle round? Now we can't leave the circle. Um, alright, sweet. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.